Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Anna. My name is Faith. This is my daughter. We were tagged by Jen, we, I was tagged by Jen at Embracing Chaos. Um, it is called a getting ready for Halloween tag. Number one, would you ever go to a ga graveyard at night? Yes. Mm, no. Not like anything can get you, but. <laughs> uh, number two, in a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Hmm. I would say, I would say a shotgun, but I don't like guns. So, but that's the only thing that would a machete. kill me. <laughs> um. But I would say a gun, even though I don't like weapons, guns, but, uh, number three, and this is a two part, either as an adult or child, would you rather go trick or treating or go to a Halloween party? Um, as no. a child, I went trick or treating. Um, as an adult, I've never been to a Halloween party. Mm, I went trick or treating whenever I was a child. And I go to Halloween parties. Um, hopefully one day I'll get to one. <laughs> uh, number four. You're in a horror film. Are you the first to die? The comedian relief or the skeptic? Um, well, I'd more to be the first to die if my pets were there. Hold on. All right, we're back. Uh, back to, oh, if you're in a horror film. Like I said, if my pets were there, they'd give me away, so I'd be the first one to die. But if they weren't there, I would be... Morky's still the first one to die. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're in a horror film, are you the first to die, the comedic relief, or the skeptic? I'd probably die first. Oh. Uh, I missed some. The smart one, the survivor, or the killer. Sorry, I skipped skip that part of it. Uh, so I take back. I wouldn't be the first to die. I would be the survivor because I died the whole time. <laughs> um, you I'd, change? Yeah, I'd be the smart one. Alrighty. This is, it's been a long time since I did a tag. Number five, do you watch something happy after watching a horror film? No. I go to sleep and I'm scared to death. <laughs> and I go to sleep. No. Um, number six. Well, watching a scary movie, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person who covers their eyes constantly, or the person who falls asleep? I'll watch a horror movie, but when I know it's going to come to something horrible, I, and I'll, <laughs> I'll peek to see if it's over yet. Then I'll finish watching it, and when it comes to another part, do the same thing. Mine's neither. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number seven, are you the one who gets scared or does the scaring? Well, I'm the one that gets scared because my granddaughter loves to scare me. And it's the little things that can scare me. Even my husband just walk into a room and I don't hear him. I get scared. Mm. Are you the scared one or the one scaring? Both. Because I get, Alexa likes to scare me. And Ava. So. Do you scare people? Yes. <laughs> Number seven, are you, are you the one who get, oh, I already read that one. Ugh. Number eight, name something you wouldn't want to run into in a forest or a bandit building. Wolf, frosted body, or building. Um, I'd rather run into a body because it can't attack me and eat me <laughs> or chase me down. Same. Uh, number nine. What is the creepiest thing you've ever, ever happened to you? 
Okay, everybody doesn't believe me, but I have two things that's happened to me that were was creepy. Oh, I don't remember how old I was, but I was staying with a friend, and it was winter time, and I happened to look up because her bed was underneath a window, but it was a trailer, so the, this window was real high, and I swore I seen, um, oh, now I forgot what they're called. A spirit? No. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I remembered it. It's a Yeti. People thought I was crazy. My my dad told me, oh, because I cried hysterically. I wanted to go home. I didn't want to stay there. And I said that any reason I said that is because I wanted to go home and it wasn't true. I seen it. And the other was we lived in this house. I lived with my mother at the time and I had my children. But there was an attic window. I swore. No, it wasn't the attic window. It was the top floor. And I swore I seen someone looking out the window because we were told that someone had passed away or it was either passed away or they died or got murdered in the house. So, and they said I was crazy. So that was the creepiest. Um, hold on, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, number nine. What is the, oh, I read that. I guess we're on number 10. Uh, if someone dared you to spend the night in a haunted house for 100000 would you? First, I would want the money first. And then I would stay, I would stay in it. If it was for free, no, 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 thank you. But I would for a hundred grand. You bet your bottom dollar I would. Yeah, same. I'd want the money first. Yeah, because... You, you go there and stay there and people say, okay, well, we're not giving you no money now. So money first, then I'll do it. All right. Well, I thank uh, Jen at Embracing Chaos for tagging me. And we enjoyed, this is my daughter's first time doing a tag with me. I want to get a tag partner to do this with me. And so I asked her and she said, yeah. So I enjoy doing them, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. I'm back. I forgot to tag, say who I was tagging. I am going to tag, sorry, so close. I am going to tag uh, B, a B's journey, and I'm going to tag Lainey's life. Um, I hope they enjoy and do these tags. We had a lot of fun, and I'll be looking forward to the next tag. Bye. Again.